so I'm hoping that this will sound louder I'm redoing it over myself because listening to myself in headphones I can kind of hear me but just listening to myself in the speakers I can't at all so basically in this video we're showing how you can do the Diamond Casino Highest getaway vehicles stealing them off of the cops without getting caught sounds easy enough right so what you want to do is you want to go to your destination which I am going there now and these load times might seem really fast but they're not I'm on a PlayStation 4 and I think it's like the first generation of it so it is super slow but I do what I can so I edited this clip just enough to get rid of the load times But, like I'm saying right here, but you can't really hear me, is the first thing you want to remember is to never kill a cop or an attempt to knock him out. If you do, you'll get the wanted levels, and, well, that's no bueno. No good. So you come in here, you watch that guy right there. It's not like they really pay that close attention to you, but... You wait for him to walk away. Then you don't want to run because that would make a lot of noise. But you can uh, sneak run, which, like, right there gives a little bit more speed. Then after that, you want to go to this first vehicle here and move it off to the right, where that way it's up and out of your way. Go back into the second vehicle that is parked right there, but you need to wait for this cop to walk back by. So that's why we are crouching hidden right here, waiting for this fucking cop to walk by, but he's taking his sweet ass time. That's why it'd be a lot easier if you can at least just knock him out, but... You even do that, you get caught. But here he is, finally. Then he'll stand here, turn around, and walk the opposite way. As he's doing that, you want to sneakily walk up to this vehicle. You know, in theory, the real life, they would hear you turn on the engine and Plus, they would have heard that little scrape I did, but in here, they don't pay that close attention. So, hey. So, we do want to go to getaway vehicle number two. Right there, if you can hear it, I say getaway vehicle number one, but this is actually going to be number two. I turn off the lights because I want to make sure that we don't get caught. I don't know if we would or not, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So, what it is said right there, if you could hear it all, is there's a lot of waiting games, pretty much you want to do. You gotta wait for the cops to come this way, come that way, but as soon as, you know, he goes back that way, we're gonna drive over here, and park it next to these cop cars without hitting them. Then we're gonna get out. And we're going to head towards this other car. Now, we just got to pay attention to him. Because that's the guy that is walking around. As you can see on the mini-map, there's at least two cops in that area. But, you want to come over here. 
You want to hide like the good little coward you are. <laughs> okay, so we're not actually cowards, but we don't want to get caught. That's the point of this video. So we hide. I'd much rather just take the fucking cops out, but... So now we get into this vehicle. We just back it up into here carefully. Make sure not to hit anything that might possibly have an alarm or anything like that. Park it right here. And then duck down because Mr. Pupho is right there. But you know, you would think they would notice that like three cars have mysteriously been moved, plus this fourth car over there, but hey, you know, whatever. So we're going to turn off the lights again, we're going to take getaway vehicle number one, and we are now going to head out of the police station. Now, it's going to tell you to go to the left, ignore that. You want to take it to the right. It would have been better if I turned down that street, but I went up one more street and turned. And headed down this way. Then I turned here, and but as you can see, I've got no cops. I'm in vehicle number one, I'm on my way back to my arcade to put my getaway vehicle there. Not a cop is on me. Be better if I was a better driver, but hey, you know, it's a game. And if you keep on hearing the clicks here and there, I'm putting up my microphone so you don't hear me yawn. Because I'm a little bit tired, but I don't want to yawn on here. But basically, after you drop this off, you're going to go back to the police station and repeat the process. Just with the fact that you have that second vehicle out right there, you can just hop in it. You know, you don't have to worry about moving anything else. You just go in, get in the car, take off. But you're going to see why here in a little bit. Why there is... Two vehicles, uh, why we don't want to go to the left like the GPS tells us to go. Okay, evidently that part didn't get deleted. Yeah, I'm not talking the entire time, but my dumb ass went the wrong way, so I have to go and hop on my Mach 2, then head back to the police station. Oh, I hate all that glitching. If anyone watches this and does this game on the PlayStation 5, does it do all that glitching? It's gotten really bad since the last update. Nobody ever talks about it, but... But as you can see, those cops right there, if you would have taken the waypoint, you would have gone right in front of the cops' point of, you know, visual eyesight, and you'd automatically get caught.
and then take it off to the left or the actually that's to the right I get my left and right confused I'm not that smart but then we take it down the way we could have gone the first time to make it a little bit faster and we head on back to the arcade again so I'm doing this video for my friends Funky and Soup and so that way they can see that you can do this mission by yourself without getting caught and for anyone else who just happens to want to check it out and get some help I hope this video helps I'm trying to do more stuff like this because I don't have money to do a lot of unboxing I'm a poor mofo but as you can see I'm almost back to my arcade not a single cop And this one, this specific one, I uh, mean, I like the livery and all that so much that I actually went and bought it and duplicated it pretty much exactly. There's a couple of minor differences, but. But yeah, that nice quick load time. Yeah, that's not real. I wish it was real. Maybe on the PlayStation 5 version it's real, but... Or even just playing this on the PS5, it's that much faster. But, there's the car I was talking about. Right next to it is the wide-body version of that one. The one right there you I'm about to go look at is a uh, convertible version. And then the fourth and final version that I'm aware of is over there I walk by it here in a minute I take this out and I show you that it's a convertible by lowering by lowering the roof Nice little convertible. Hopefully this audio track is going to be louder. Because the last one I did, you could just barely hear me. I can hear myself a little bit better with my headphones on. But other than that, it's a f fucking whisper. And I don't know why. Hopefully this time it sounds louder. But I load back in. Here I'm trying to say the name of them. I'm not going to try to hack the name again. But there's the fourth and final version. That's the newest one. I watch another YouTuber uh, who does a lot of like customizations and stuff like that and I got the idea from him. I mean there's a couple of minor differences between mine and his like the livery on the back but but the paint job the the actual livery those are liveries li I, I can't really remember how to say it but he doesn't have that on the back. I have a different grill than he does. But other than that, it's pretty close. But yeah. That's how you do those missions without getting caught. But this is Mad Dog, signing out.